What's up everyone? We're back. And like I said, we're gonna be doing some different formats. Tonight, I figured I'd give you a little intro before we got into the workout. All I gotta do is get dressed, drink my pre-workout, and go to the gym. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna give you a little rundown of what I'm wearing to the gym today. This is kinda how things usually go. I'm not always setting my clothes out like this. However, I am picking them out before my workout to allow me to kind of really process like this is what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna feel comfortable in this. I'm gonna look good in this. I'm gonna feel good in this. And I'm gonna get a good workout because of all those factors, including the pump that I'm gonna be getting. All right, so when I first started this vlog, I was hitting the gym early in the morning, which I kind of still do periodically. Um, but right now it's working out better that I go at night Make sure there's no blemishes also um, Especially when I'm taking my camera in the gym I don't like a lot of people around me it makes me a, a little bit more self-conscious The whole reason I'm bringing the camera to the gym in the first place is so I can see how I'm doing and the way I'm improving and the things I can do to fix any mistakes I'm making in my technique or form anything that I feel like I'm watching later on and be like Oh, man I'm glad I took footage of that because I had no idea I was doing that whether it was like not meeting my range of motion or maybe there's a certain angle I want to hit a little bit better as far as like the way I'm standing or my posture stuff like that damn it's getting hot in here okay so anyways today's back day today's back day it is Wednesday and we're gonna knock this out I got my Gucci flip-flops I mean my Jordan sweatpants I don't have Gucci flip-flops of course I got some awesome brand new spandex for my wife for my birthday and I'm not concerned about showing you guys those right now because they're so new there's no stains in them thank goodness classic H&M short shorts I got an old tank top from a band out of Aurora Illinois called peach tree I'll get this out of the way come on and then lately I've been vibing with the hoodies man and this is a big hoodie this is a really big and comfortable hoodie that I'm going to get my warm up in I'm gonna wear it until I feel like hey man my muscles are pumped and I'm feeling like I can take it off and flex what I'm working in the mirror sometimes I don't take off that hoodie until after my workout or the end of my workout because now a lot of times what I'm doing at the end of my workout is mogging myself in the mirror Oh yeah, and as far as socks go, sometimes I will put on a fresh pair of socks, but I've got a good pair of sports socks on right now. If it was leg day, I would definitely be putting on a specific pair that I like to wear that helps, you know, increase the compression. However, it's not leg day, it's back day. And my socks are fine. And speaking of socks, I have the best pair of lifting shoes to wear over them. I've really fallen in love with them. The sweet Converse here, classic Chuck Taylors, except they have a little bit more support and padding around the edges of them, which I love. And the fact that they're high tops gives me the ankle support I need and I prefer. And then also there's really good cushioning in there. Even though like I'm walking on a flat sole, it's actually really comfortable to be wearing. These are like, uh, these are like wearing socks in a way but um with little pillows around all of your feet <laughs> all right enough of that now you guys get to watch me get dressed oh here it goes the most comfortable hoodie in the world this thing's so soft oh. <laughs> it's like i'm wearing a blanket a nice, soft, cozy blanket that just wants to hold me and hug me while I'm lifting hardcore. I might wear a hat today. I might not. I was wearing a hat earlier. I'll wear a hat. If you're wondering what this is, this is from my lovely daughter. She just loves ripping up paper and leaving it everywhere. I always find shreds of it. Shreds and shreds and shreds of evidence. <laughs> baby, ooh, baby, ooh, baby. All right, everybody. Now that I'm nice and cozy and super dressed and a little sweaty, I do gotta clean off these glasses. They're still sweaty from yesterday's workout session. You see, it, it's all right there. But yeah, I don't like wearing contacts, but I need glasses. And uh, if I wanna really check myself out in the mirror, I need them. I was just getting some inspiration from Seabum and Brett the Butcher Wilkin. 
two of my favorite bodybuilders right now. There's a handful of them that I follow on YouTube, but I really enjoy these two. I love that they're on Raw together, and of course, yesterday they did Back Day, so I get to watch that and get some great inspiration, get hyped for my workout today, and uh, now it's time to get the pre-workout together. Let's go. Volcano burst, good stuff, great stuff, awesome stuff, the best stuff. Just in case you guys can't see here, I'll add another light there. <laughs> Throw on that little light, would ya? Thanks. All right, one. I'm doing one and a half. I've kind of worked my way up to it. This is not my first day. This is my first rodeo, bro. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. All right. Catch you at the gym. All right, here we go. 